We are at Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Crack Engine in Diami, Florida. A city where the temperature is over 100 and the IQ is in the low teens <laughs> at best. Then don't poke fun at the fans. They're loyal. Therapists call it delusional. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Malice Hellboys take on the Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And that's a pick. And oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made it the It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! <laughs> First and eight. 
side to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. First and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard game. Second down and six. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and five. Second down and six. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he picks up about six on the play. They don't need much here. Looks like they're going for it. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Now here, I will put the ball in my hand, pick off my hand, and throw it for a yard. That counts, right? I'm still holding the ball. Yep. You know what they say, Finn. Give an inch, and now take a mile. Which is why the defense gave them nothing, and they're taking a seat. Second down and ten. Ooh. 
Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third and four. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example song. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. wasn't ready for that at all, Bricks. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants him stop all over his opponent. I want to take a beast boost injection. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and a lot. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! <laughs> and he'll pick up seven yards on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frame cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. Second down and more than the QB would like. Two, that's a TR pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Third down, and the punter is warming up. One. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, we should take a pee for me, too. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. Third down and never get offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And there goes the ref. Too bad it was supposed to be his last game before he retired, Bricks. Well, he's retired permanently now. At least he'll save some money on the retirement party. Good point. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Hot one, hot two. Rumbles for nine on that play. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Call that about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And that'll be second down and four. Oh, with a brutal hit. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. You know, some would argue that demons don't have a place in this league, but with moves like that, <laughs> I have to disagree. Uh, you're just saying that because he'd rip your face off and use it for bookbinding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. <laughs> don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Three. Nice pickup for six yards. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, three. 
that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. One, hot two, hot three. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. Almost. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, jeez, Grim, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And that's how you shark the monkey. Thunderclap. I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. <laughs> if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble <laughs> he's trying to throw the ball grip but it keeps coming back to him <laughs> Second down and long. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's...
It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, eight. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Caught for the first down. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. First and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Second down, and, he, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Thing. They're going for it on fourth down. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. And it's first and ten. QB looks angry at his offensive line, and I can't blame him. Second down in a lot. He picks up a two. down and well good luck and he picks up about six on the play the offense is running low on quarterbacks they have only two left they might consider running the ball more don't do anything stupid here just punt the damn ball and play defense He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return.
And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Second down and seven. for a first down to keep the drive alive. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. The defense knocked a pass down and quarterbacks hate that. Second down and ten. Run for a nine yard gain. And that'll bring up third and one. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio the punter for today is being played by my kid's sister they let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense and it's first and ten done for a first down and it's first and ten oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah if you're gonna hit a guy that hard you should at least kill him do him a favor finish him and that'll be second down and four First and ten. Oh man, he really and he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more inter. Boom! And it's first and ten. The ball carrier is saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, that 
that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and two. Hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and six. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. finds his man for the first down. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. First down and seven. Perfect pass and the score! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Second down and long. Disappointing to a Diami fan? Well, how about we need 
go to the beach and a 70 year old German guy with a pop belly bends over with a G string and shows you the whole caboose. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.